new zoom in the, there you go right this is the cool bit right what we've got here then so this was sorry this was um windows or uh, 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 view new zoom window here okay so what we've got here is an overview of the whole scene of which we're sort of going to look at just that bit over there and then we can sort of there we go so sort of look over there let's get rid of our lights oh, we don't need that up at the moment okay so we can put them over there just go and click and drag this down a bit. There we go. Then we can sort of click on this guy in here and we can should be able to go and zoom in here. There we go. So what we can do, a bit like what Photoshop can do I suppose, is boom, boom, boom. ah right, okay, that's fair enough. Let's uh zoom over here. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And put that over there. There we go. So there's my whole picture I'm looking at and I can sort of um, zoom out and show the whole thing there. Let's turn off um, safe area. There we go. And I can sort of zoom in here and I can sort of add add things in here. I can see what the result's going to be like. Actually, if we went to 100%, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Hello. There we go. 100 ish percent. So you can see the, you can zoom in and you can see the results of what you're doing on screen, which is quite nice. Yeah, if you've got a green cat, that is. So I'll um, you for undo, and undo again, and undo again, and undo again, and undo again. There you go. And that sort of gets that. Now, what we've done at the background here, let's go and uh, put the background up, which I think is maybe maybe that. There we go. So let's um, let's get rid of this. Let's put this window back up as being the main job. There we go. Over there. And we'll click and drag this out. So it's sort of pretty cool. So zooming is quite good. I sort of found my way around uh, eventually. Don't forget, I'm only just... Uh, and just learning this little uh, application. There we go. Righty ho. So pretty cool. Um, what we've done, I've just drawn a background here. This is now this is not an animated background. This is just a still. So the animated the the cat is animated. Is on a separate layer, and the background underneath is not animated. It's just one frame. Okay. So you need to know how to make um, different layers. So what we've got here. When I go and say layer and say new layer so it can be a new animated layer or new image layer okay so that's pretty cool um, and you can convert an image layer into an animation layer as well so animation layer means that, uh, every frame is going to go and change unless you tell it to go and duplicate various frames image layers like for backgrounds things like that where you can sort of uh, like we're doing here have a background and all I did to sort of work that out was obviously if I sort of up this a little bit you can sort of see what I've drawn over it to make the perspective work with that sort of based it around what the street was and then I'm going to decide to do whatever I'm going to do. You'll also notice that my footage that I brought in wasn't the, wasn't the size of my project but sort of get around the idea of running out of footage when the cat walks out of the uh, out of the scene I just drew a little pretend tree in the way so he sort of walks out there so can you see my fantastic art skills that work there? I think the answer is no uh, with that one and uh, we'll just out that one so you can see what we've got now and hit play and then we've got um, the cat walking through and uh, he's pretty cool and there you go and we're going to have some playback issues with while, while recording so we'll just scroll through it be easier so you can click and drag here you can see him walking through he's now walking backwards but if you're just wondering why he's looking like he's going backwards because he is and uh, that is that so what we're doing here is basically just going to the next frame um, with this type of thing, when you're doing uh, rotoscoping, I don't think you really want to go and see the previous frame all that much. What you're trying to do is um, go through and uh, gauge where the next silhouette is, is for the puss cat and just sort of go around it. And uh, it took about a minute per per frame. There's 120 frames, so that's two hours to do that. Uh, the great thing about doing um, 2D animation like this is, as you're doing it, it's finished. You know, you know it's going to work because you're just copying it. Um, so if, you, if you're into the idea of copying and tracing to get something to look cool, um, then this will be the way of doing it. Um, same method they used, I believe, uh, for Disney when they did the um, dance sequences in the old classic Disney films like Snow White. They actually had real footage and they got people to draw over it to make sure that the people who were dancing looked correct. So um, don't regard it as cheating unless you regard Disney as cheating. It gets the job done and it looks cool. And it's ideal for me because I'm absolutely rubbish at drawing. But there you go. I do try, but um, not that well. 
Right, so we've got uh, how to make layers, how to make them sort of seeable, invisible, and all the rest of it. You can drop these down as well. You can have like bigger versions of it, so you can switch your light table on and off. And I think you can have, I mm, don't know what that is, and I don't know what they are, and I don't know what that is, but we'll find out one day, eh? Like I say, we're only about four days into using this. Really cool application, I believe. Um, the thing that really sold it on me was it's very easy to use. Like second day, um, this is what I did with it. Second day, it just looks looks. I mean, to me, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it needs colouring in and whatever, but um, the current thing I'm pitching for actually requires it to look hand drawn and not be coloured in. So this sort of fulfilled my brief of oh, this is uh, a nifty little application I might actually use. And two days in, I'm using it, and it's a good result on it for me. Um, so I'm quite happy with this. I think I've gone on for quite a while now. So. With that, um, oh, sort of, yeah, exporting then, uh, filing and saving. Let's go file. Let's go back to mouse. Cause I'm sort of less blah blah with that. So I go back to the mouse. Um, with a pen and a, a mouse, you can run them both at the same time. It doesn't sort of like knock your PC over. So um, you know, save project as, and it's going to be um, it's going to be a, a .tvp uh, file, which is TV Paint file. Um, you can also open. Um, Mirage files and Aura files if you've been working on a previous version, which is quite nice. And um, this is your sort of uh, directory tree, and I've saved it in TV Paint, and that makes sense to me. And we're pretty cool with that, so that saves that. And I believe file as yes, Shift dot Shift S is saving project, so you can quickly update it. Just Shift S it, and you just saved it. You have to dial all the way all, all the way up here. Um, and exporting, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna go uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. export project two, and you can sort of decide what you're gonna go export. You can just the display layers, separate layers, a custom brush. Haven't done any brushes. Whole world of cool stuff to come up. I think um, it's just the animation. It's gonna be the same frame rate, the same size as, as it was, and I want the background. I want the correct aspect ratio. Blah blah blah, blah, blah. and it's gonna be a quick time file. You can choose. A few ideas from that, and then you can go and configure it, and there you go. And then you'll then end up with your animation, and you can mark in and out, so you can say which frames you want to go and render out. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the things I do like about it is sort of it doesn't it doesn't fall over, which is great. Um, it hasn't fallen over at all yet, um, and it is a new release, so they've done really good beta testing on it. I'm quite impressed with it. A whole lot of things to learn. Obviously, I've just got the download version because it's a demonstration version. So I've not got a, a printed manual to go with it. Um, the forums are, are excellent. I uh, got good feedback from that when I was trying to work out how to use it. Um, very good and uh, very cool. And with that, I think we'll close for this quick run through. Um, there's a whole load of things about brushes, but you, you know we're up and running, aren't we? Yeah. Um, that kills that undo and redo, blah blah blah, obviously. And that'll do us. There's a whole load of things to look at. Another day, quick look around, give you an idea. And with that, we'll close. And uh, I just recommend you go to uh, tvpaint.com, go and download the demo and see what you think for yourself. I think that, for me, that's that's a killer feature. I mean, that is awesome. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Because um, the other thing I'm going to be showing you another day, or maybe tonight, will be um, Toon Boom. And you jump from this to Toon Boom, and Toon has got some really nice things in it. But as soon as you get into any program where you want to start using um, a, a tablet, for me, if I can't rotate the canvas now, I know that you know some programs can. That just goes not happy. Um, and there you go. Right, uh, I've waffled on far too long. So, tata, catch you later, yeah, people. I always say catch you later. No idea why. Never caught anyone in my life. Right, bye bye.